Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Spange. We're back here in Polaris Town, except it's no longer Polaris Town. That's right. I've destroyed everything. It's great. All their stuff is mine. I haven't disassembled all the bases for all the blocks, but I have stripped most of them of important bits and bobs like generators and stuff like that. In fact, I have, you know, pretty much filled my cargo containers with uh, parts from there and I've chucked a load of stuff in the factory as well I need to stuff that, uh, stuff that stuff in there as well but yeah the short uh, super lifter is looking a bit like this now yeah probably about 10% there I don't know but anyway we need to get this big butt back to base which is all the way up there so we need to head that way and then offload logistic of fire or the loop <laughs> that's a word I'm gonna stick with it and then uh, I think I might do a bit of texturing in the base because we had a bit of an action-packed episode so let's have a bit of a chill out one uh, first of all we need to get back to the base though this thing's actually pretty pretty decent to drive even with I don't know how much how much weight have we got on board here we've got 395 tons in that one and we got 14.9 in that one so it's not, not a huge amount it could probably take a fair bit more if we wanted to uh, mostly the blocks and stuff I've been salvaging, like I said, I've just been shoving in the factory. But yeah, I had a bit of fun finding the cores and all of those, but uh, yeah, I got to a point where I just set the turrets on this thing to find generators. <laughs> and that generally caused things fairly quickly, put generators right next to the core. Hey look, a drone! I want to put turrets on the base before I upset the Xerox. So, let's just head back, let's do that, and we'll do some texturing and stuff. I know a couple of you guys have been asking about that. Let's get some texture done. Areas of dense forest. Still no drama for the Hydra. We're all good. I have to chop a bit of the forest down. I'm sure I can get through those stones without drills. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I come back this way? Alright. Coming up to base now. So a little bit of swamp. Do you remember this bit of swamp? It's like one of the very first episodes. And a little running with a Tallura pod, I think. Anyway, here we are. Hi, base. Let's see if we can get this monster back into the hangar bay. I love the way that thing just opens up like that. That is so cool. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. We cannot, we cannot see. Okay, we're going to have to feel our way in. There's a there's a Nighthawk somewhere in here, so I'll try and avoid that. Alright, hopefully that's the back. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> uh, let's turn... Well, let's power off. We don't need anything anymore. I keep things running so the fridges carry on, but we're in base now. Yeah, perfect. Artillery safely stowed. Pointing at the wall. There's the Nighthawk. Lovely. All right. Whew, here we go. So, I need, well, probably want to do ores first. So let's shove the ores in our furnace in, so that can get busy furnacing. All right, and then our input. Look at that, look at that Neo, man. Look at that, that's craziness. I'm gonna shove that Neo in the factory, to be honest, because I'm gonna need like 14,000 of it. Anyway, all this stuff. Right parts and whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna sort of organize all this. I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so that's all pretty much organized now. And as you can see, I've started texturing this base already. So I've done a bit off camera, um, just to sort of get a feel for what I kind of want this place to look like a bit, really. So you can see, uh, yeah, a bit of wall, ceiling and everything. Nice wood effect on the stairs. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> It's uh, mostly concrete, this base, so I don't have a huge selection of textures to choose from. Um, probably wondering what the hell's going on with this floor texturing. I tried, tried to create some kind of like pathing going on through there, but it hasn't really worked. I might, I might change that a little bit. But yeah, this is what the corridor looks like down here. And it's pretty much as much as I've done, to be honest. So uh, I think I have a texture and paint gun somewhere. Well, I must do. I did this, right? Uh, this player must be in either small arms. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Disconnect from that box. And we're not going to need guns while we're in here. So there we go. Um, yeah, I don't want to do overly complicated texturing in here. 
spend hours obsessing over it. I don't really want to, <laughs> basically. So I'm going to just do this back wall. Um, a nice white. Let's make the uh, corridor look longer. But there we go. That's cool. And then what I like to do in elevator shafts is a nice simple roof but then line the entire shaft with these ones and every time there's an exit that you can get out of the lift I'll paint it green so for example maybe not that green that green that green and that green and the rest is white so when you're running up and down the lift the elevator you tell which floor you're on just by the color so yeah I need to do a lot more block texturing I don't know what to do with this room I think I might turn it into a little um like I don't know. <laughs> just put some deco in here I think yeah uh, and down here I need to shape this room as well this is still massive because of uh, getting the earth mover in and out of here this is huge ceiling um, so I don't want to texture this until I've finished building it really so we can do that though uh, we need blocks connect to that we've got 809 concrete blocks so let's just let's just do it just do it um, so let's get rid of this glass around the um, elevator shaft here get the right goddamn ah damn it I thought that was two bits of glass it was only one I don't remember why built I built this place. Can't remember. No. Ah, anyway. <laughs> so, um, I should probably bring the ceiling down. At least, at least there. Anyway. So this corridor, and then it opens up as you get here. It sort of opens up. <clears throat> yeah, that's not bad. Okay. So I want to do a similar thing to what I did upstairs. Uh, I'm just going to texture with blocks, really. Same on the other side. Okay, carry this on along here, actually. And then I'm just going to Put that gap in like that and carry it on here as well. Uh, what's that gap? One gap, yeah. Okay, and then uh, I think all I did was that one. I'm try it all the way along. Same on the other side. Flip it upside down. Yeah, and I think what I did upstairs is I put some on the ceiling, but obviously because the ceiling is only halfway, yeah, that's quite good. Let's carry that on as best we can. Obviously, in this higher area, we might not be able to do that in a nice way. Let's see. God damn. There you go. Okay. See what we can do here then. Right. So um, I've only got one block there, so I might need to just. I don't know. I could use um, I could use this this one, and and um, slope it back like that. Really? Yeah, that looks alright, doesn't it? That's pretty good. There we go. corridor. So what we can do is how many block I think we've got a three block gap here haven't we? So I can maybe run oh no that's two block gap damn no, that's okay um I'll stick with see this is a problem I don't have a huge amount of textures to choose from 
when it comes to concrete. So quite like this one is is sort of more pleasant. <laughs> I like to use that one in all the living spaces and stuff, whereas this one's more obviously industrial, which is probably better for down here. Heavy equipment and stuff. I don't know. Let's kill that off. Same as upstairs. White end to the wall. And then ceiling is nice and simple. I generally just use this one. These inset bits are always lit up. Like that. And then turn that. Okay. So then what I did upstairs was I used this texture to make it look like these um, parts were sort of reinforcing the ceiling, you know? Yes, they're all. It is an underground base. It's going to require trust to support it. There we go, okay, and then we can do something with this here as well. I can't remember what it was that I did upstairs. See what I mean? It's just no, not really a choice, really. Um, I could just use this one. It's a nice, simple texture. It's kind of like. Should I do these bits as well? I don't know because that in itself is its own texture, but I don't know really if it really works with the metal or whether I'll need to I don't know, do this with it, I guess. It might look better. The stream has got the squares, the, the lines in it, you know? It does look a bit better though, I think. Let me know what you think. There we go. That actually looks not bad now. Oh, corridor. <laughs> Was that as exciting as you all thought it would be? <laughs> Honestly, that's a genuine question actually, because sometimes, like, I know you guys like to see the texturing and build process, but I'm here, sat here going like, uh, cool, yeah. <laughs> I really know what to say, you know, while I'm doing it, so it's a little bit difficult to commentate. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that bit of texture. I'm just going to finish this off a little bit more. Up here. Up here. Alright, just to line that up with the edge of the wall. And then, uh, what did we do? We did this one. That one there, like that. And then. These two. Cha ching. Cool. Okay. I need to add some lights in there. Um, I need to get some lights. Do I have some lights? I have a couple of lights. Let's put some lights down there. Um, I'll just leave them on permanent for now. Oh, yeah. This is the thing, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. I'll just have these two for now. So, let's have a range of 15. But I'll leave the intensity on one. I don't need it super light in a corridor down there. I think I'll do this bit next. Have a bit of a, I don't know, living area kind of deco blocks there. Oh, that's a point. Yeah, I've actually already got one. <laughs> Did this completely off camera as well. So, this is the top, um, as we saw earlier. What you didn't see was this little right turn here. I've created myself a little kind of quarters. Because uh, a lot of you were saying like, oh, why don't I just get a bed and then I can skip time, which you're absolutely right. Um, you know, I've got four minutes before I can sleep. But that is very good for speeding up those auto miners that I've got scattered around all over the shop. So if I want um, them to have decent stock for me to go and pick up with the old short hauler here. Um, yeah, using the bed trick to skip the night is a good way of speeding that up. Alright, so what I'm going to do now. 
I can start a war with the Xerax. Actually, that was a point. Um, a Hydra. Have a look, ammo situation. All right, loads of plasma. 500 missiles, still plenty of artillery. Uh, so 780 missiles. We're definitely gonna need more 15 mil. We've definitely burnt through that. So what I can do is set this one to, oh my God, I haven't even got ammo. I'll just set it to output then in that case. All those water miners, I forgot I built those. Yeah, I've got loads of water miners. So let's build like 5,000 rounds of mid 15 mil. Where are we gonna put these auto miners? Um, let's have a look, what do we need? We need a lot of Sathium. That is a lot of Sathium. 77,000. I haven't finished the short hauler yet, a uh, super lifter yet either. It's, um, I need to do the interior. So that's all subject to change. <laughs> there was a ton of Sathium on one of these. You, Hemnath, one jump away. Okay, Hemnath, one jump away. Let's put you in the short hauler. Bang, bang, bang. Let's grab some more fuel and O2. Let's just shove it all in there. <laughs> um, what is, have you got anything else? Sure, well, you got some C4, good job. Uh, let's have some O2 in there just in case I start asphyxiating. You've got warp fuel for days, but I did loot some more warp pentaxid. So maybe what we can do is get you doing a little bit more pentaxid. Let's get another 300, I'd say. Let's do 150. Right, cool. Hydra. Ammo. Base. Output. One ammo. Two ammo. There we go. Okay, Hydra's rearmed. So you can take that out at any time and just go and smash some things. I'm pretty sure there's not anything on this planet that can even scratch it. I'm not even sure that the Polaris defenses really did it. I know one of them shot at me, or maybe two of them shot at me a little bit, but I know it's in zero missing blocks. And that's another point, actually. I do need to go and put a repair bay out on that platform out there. So I want to put it out there so that anything can be repaired. And then I can put the repair console in here, maybe. That would work, wouldn't it? That would be quite good. Let's see. How do I have? I have a T2 repair bay, but not the repair console. That's fine. Let's connect to that while we're waiting for that. Um, oh, I said connect to that. Did I disconnect? I can't remember. Okay. You can do that. You. You're busy. You. Uh, Super devices. Repair console, please, boss. Go. Uh, on. Thanks. Okay. All right. You'll do. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Um, let's just get back and put the repair console on. Maybe there, next to the ATM. That'll do, won't it? Sweet. Cool. I don't need that anymore. So, just waiting for this pentaxid, and then we'll head off to the moon. Collect our auto miners. I've been leaving them running for a while now, so I'll collect the auto miners on the moon, uh, and then we'll head over to Hemnef and put like five, six auto miners down on Sathium. Man, we need to, we need some serious amounts of Sathium. I might auto mine these three, these two out as well. Uh, three count sponge, um, and that one there. And that way I've got a lot of iron and copper coming in as well. How much iron and copper do I need? Iron, I need 57,000. So that's like the next most amount. So I'm definitely going to need that. Copper's not too bad. That's down here at 4,000. So, yeah, I'll do that. But yeah, let's go to the moon. You know what I quite like with the short hauler is that I didn't I didn't design this. When I, when I built it, I did not design this in. But you can park it over a um, auto miner quite quite nicely that uh, the rear hangar hatch kind of area and then uh, all you need to do you don't even need to get out of the ship really bottom of the ramp jobs are good well I do need to um, connect the storage though so let's uh, connect you put you down there um, and I also need some fusion cells. There we go. 
And you can move on to the next one. That only used, in the whole time that it's been up here, it's only used three fusion cells. I mean, it's crazy. I think I might need to use my time warping tent trick a little bit more, I think. Just to speed production up. Otherwise, we could just be here forever. <laughs> hey, drones. Hey, drone base. Hi again. Yeah, we've done this dance before. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll come back and blow you up soon. As soon as I can get the Hydra off the planet. <laughs> so once you've got all the uh, all the ores that you're picking up, you can just simply, when they're all, they're all in your bar like that, you can just simply disconnect and um, it'll put the all in there automatically so you don't need to go and click and drag everything manually. Um, that's run the wrong way, but never mind. So we have lots of warp fuel. Uh, all the miners are all restocked, despite them only using really three fusion cells each, but whatever. Uh, now what we're going to do is going to go warp to Hemneth and we're going to place a load of water miners on some Sathium. Hemneth. Lock. Um... Where's my arrow? Down there. Fire up the engines, get some speed, hit K, and off we go. Alright, well we found a Neo deposit already, that's pretty good. Um, so it looks like we have nine Sathium deposits around here somewhere. Uh, it's going to take a while. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to land somewhere, get the uh, get the earth move right out, and use that detectors, because obviously at the moment I'm using my my handheld is picking up all this stuff. And there's lots of drones around, but again, not worried about those because I'm actually friendly with the Xerax still, so all good. All right, let's park in this oasis, I say. Uh, looks like a good landing spot. Okay, so we're going to hit park. Thrusters are off. Turrets, weapons can be on. Oh, this is not a breathable planet, so I'm going to leave oxygen going. But, um, did I didn't bring any food with me. No, mind you, I've got, I've got some uh, power bars, so we're all good. Okay, I'm gonna go find some deposits. Wait, 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 wait! I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm not here to mine them. Uh, that would have been funny, wouldn't it? I would have got the earth mover there, and then I'm, I'm here to auto mine them, right? So I'm gonna place six. I need a lot of fusion cells. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with these other 12. I'm going to place some back on the home planet. I might place a few on some Neo as well. I don't think I'm going to need much more Neo than, than that, but you know, whatever. I place like one or two on Neo. Um, should we have one or two Neos right there? So may as well go and do those. Okay. That's one Neo. Tell you what, the drone presence here is crazy. I'm glad I've, um, I'm friendly with the Xerox while I'm. Uh, cruising around in my plastic miner. <laughs> that could be a trouble. There's some big heavy drones uh, just over there as well. I really can't see them anymore, but they're there. Trust me. Anyway, that's two Neo. That's one Sathium. That's two Sathium. Three Sathium. Well, hello there. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly not worried. Look at that! <laughs> That's a beast! I have not seen that patrol ship before, I must say. And it's ghosted. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Giddo. What are we on? Uh, 9.6. New Unity update. That is a ghosted patrol vessel. Because you know how you can tell... Hang on. Shut up. Is you can see the thruster glow through the hull. It's such a shame. Which means if I shoot that thing, the bullets will just pass right through it. So yeah, never mind. Try not to fall off my hover vessel here. I don't think I'm quite close enough, unfortunately. Eh. I'll just move it closer. God damn it. What am I doing? All right, there we go. Alright, I'm running out of fusion cells and I need to head back to the ship. But that is... Wait, what was that? Five Sathium? <laughs> One more, I think. <laughs> this is five Sathium. It's still so weird. It's still so weird that I'm hanging out with drones and patrol vessels. And, um, well, these guys just keep, uh, keep attacking me. But no, no problem. 
what were you trying to achieve? Think of the golems. God, there's drones everywhere. Have you seen this? It's crazy. Golems, in fairness. Uh, can I stop moving, please? And wait, because I've got a it's kind of worm underneath me or something. It's lifting the thing up. The golems will have some nice stuff in them. Definitely worth picking up. Look at this thing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, being friends with the Xerax has its advantages. That's for sure, especially when it comes to ghosted patrol vessels. Yep. Anyway, uh, one more Sathium deposit to find. Sathium number six. Noisy bastards. How are you damaged? What have you done? Oh, I certainly didn't shoot you. Anyway. Oh, I've done another one. So, Sathium number seven, actually. I don't think I've got enough power to run this one though. Well, on smalls. That's not going to last very long. But, well, you know, it's running. It'll be fine. I get these floating little, um. I don't know what they are, solar panels, I think? Yeah. Don't know where they came from. But <laughs> they keep following me around. Right, back to the ship. Alright, so there we go. We've got about seven, um, Sathium. There's one in Talon territory, which is slightly nerv nervous. Um, yeah, we've got a couple over here. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can count. <laughs> and two on Neo, near the ship. All right, that was good. So, uh, what I've got left is three auto miners. And then I'm going to stick two on a restroom and one on Zeskosium over on Skerton. Yeah. Uh, Scalis, yeah, yeah. The restroom is Scosium. Yeah, but I need to walk back because I need to get more fusion cells and then I can walk there. But I've got to do that off camera um, because placing auto miners is, is very exciting, as you know. <laughs> there we go, we're back at the ship. And that is an episode. So, what I'm going to be doing, trying to focus on, is getting the uh, super lifter in, really. Because that is going to unlock endgame for us. What I might need to do in order to do that, however, is place a base, place a base, somewhere on this planet, so that I have, you know, because um, there's lots of resources here. There's a lot of resources. There's iron. There's the neo. There's the sathium. There's everything apart from silicon on this planet. It's it's a good one. So I might place a little um, um, pre-made blueprint base. Somewhere like there, for example, the nice flat land uh, near the water or whatever. Just so I have a, a base of operations to, to mine and refine all these resources into the super lifter. 77,000 Sathium is going to take a while. So, uh, yeah, I might focus that um, a little bit. I'll do another episode actually doing that, placing the base and setting up and stuff. We do want to attack the Xerax as well to make life a little bit more difficult for us. Now that we've got the Hydra um, kind of locked on Vibhav at the moment, I've got nowhere to transport unless I can try and glitch her somehow onto the short hauler here, which is not something I'm particularly looking to do, just because I think it's a bit cheesy. Um, then we can't really move her, so I'm going to have a base. I'm going to bring the Nighthawk, I think, over to this base so I have some firepower, and I'm going to use it to refine this planet into the super lifter but yeah that's the plan so rest of the cosium next and that is all for today hope you enjoyed this episode it's a bit mishmash so i apologize for that but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway thank you very much for watching it is greatly appreciated as always and hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye <laughs>